Aloha, I'm Dr. Glenn Swartout, and I'd like to introduce you to Accelerated Self-Healing. Accelerated Self-Healing is a process that we've developed over the last 40 years. I began intensively researching for my own personal healing because I was diagnosed with glaucoma at the age of 25 when I was just finishing my training as an eye doctor and based on the general course of the disease and the conventional treatments and outcomes, uh, I knew that if I followed the Western medical model with, for treatment, I would almost certainly be blind by the age of 50. I'm 65 and still have my vision. So what I learned along the way, I've helped thousands of other people with not only blinding eye diseases, but all kinds of medical conditions, degenerative diseases, conditions considered irreversible, in some cases helping people to actually reverse the clinical findings. The process, again, I call accelerated self-healing. It acknowledges that all healing is self-healing. Our bodies are designed to heal themselves. We can either get in the way of that and slow down the healing process by adding additional impediments to the body's function, things like uh, synthetic drugs that never existed in our genetic history of our ancestors. There's no reasonable expectation that anything that's created new synthetically is in any way likely to be beneficial to the body. It is possible, but it's extremely unlikely. And most drugs, as you know, are toxic. That's why they're licensed by the government. What we need to look to, and what I've discovered, is that nature holds the keys, holds the answers to what our body needs to heal itself. We're, we've become nature deficient. We've removed ourselves from the natural environment. Our diet is processed. Our foods have been modified genetically. They've been modified even before GMO modifications through reducing the amount of genetic variability. The strains are, are designed to produce maximum quantity in commerce, but we've, in the process we've lost most of the botanical nutrients, the phytonutrients in the foods. We've lost over 90%. We've lost over 90% of the varieties of edible foods, the heirloom varieties. There's a few left, but we've lost most of them. And again, they had many more phytochemicals in them that we're just beginning to learn what the benefits of those are to the body and its healing process. But the beauty of what I've discovered in the last 40 years is that we can detect the body's stress responses in real time. It's a way of tapping into the body's own internal biocommunication process. Uh, either in person electronically or remotely through the information field. We have multiple techniques now that we can do this with, again, in person electronically through the acupuncture points in the acupuncture system. That's originally how I learned to do this back in the 1980s through German diagnostic electroacupuncture. Now, in fact, most of the time our clients are thousands of miles away. We can test them remotely electronically through the internet these days. There's also systems, because information is non-local, it's not localized in space. Information doesn't fall off with distance. The information field is accessible at any distance in real time, instantaneously. And so that's our primary means of communicating with your body in real time, asking it, first of all, what produces stress responses? There's stress patterns all of us have. I've only ever seen one test that had no stress patterns that I could detect, and that was a horse. So healthy as a horse, yeah. Uh, other horses that are sick obviously do show stresses. We can look at what increases the body's stress in real time, and that tells us, that's a, a significant clue to what are the stress patterns that the body is trying to heal, because there's almost an infinite number of stresses, but it's certainly more than the body can beneficially focus on healing at one time, just like the mind, which is much more limited in, how, in its information processing capacity, body can handle a few things at one time efficiently, effectively. Uh, the mind really is most efficient when we focus on one thing and not try to multitask, we know that. So the healing process is much more effective when we don't stress ourselves further by trying to mentally identify what to do to heal on top of what the body has already identified and is trying to heal, but rather identify the body's healing process and support that. 
we do that by finding what from nature, it may be material substances, it may be energy frequencies, it may be information signals, but some combination of those, of what would normally be in a natural environment, potentially, is what the body genetically is adapted to respond to. It speeds up the healing process to where we can heal t about 12 times faster than we are normally degenerating with age or aging. That's what we do. We call it biofield analysis because biofield is the technical term for the body energy field set, I think, back in the 1990s by the National Institutes of Health. So we use that term for our biofield analysis process, which is the foundation of accelerated self-healing. When we accelerate the self-healing, we can reverse about a year of degeneration on average in about one month of a, a program. And we update and change the program on a monthly basis because that's about how long it usually takes to complete that process that the body's trying to work on. Normally that process is gonna go on and on and on for months, for years, continuing in a degenerative direction. But when we supply the exact nutrients, phytonutrients, energy frequencies, that it's our quantum energetics that are needed for every chemical reaction to occur, the reaction complex to form, and also the information, the changes, which genes are active, the epigenetic field is crucial to how our cells function. The difference between health and disease, a big part of it, and certainly part of it is chemical, and part of it is energetic, and also part of it is epigenetic or informational. So taking all those into account, we get this reversal of aging effects, reversal of degenerative and so-called irreversible effects like in blinding eye diseases that we're seeing and I have been seeing in this, developing this process for the past 40 years. So I invite you to jump in and watch more videos, learn more, read more, contact us, set up a time to talk and uh, see if we can help you with what you're dealing with. At this point, I like to say, uh, we don't know what can't heal until we try and uh, we see many things that are considered irreversible that in the long run uh, for those who, who stick with this process month after month is pretty amazing to see how function can return people getting out of wheelchairs people seeing better than they have in years when uh, it was considered a, a downhill slide with all they could do with western medicine so that's accelerated self-healing and uh, look forward to working with you, complete our online application, and we'll be able to actually do a remote reading for you on what your body is actually doing right now. It's always intuitively correct. And uh, when we find the remedies, the specific remedies that put your body into a state of coherence where it can function so efficiently, it's gonna heal faster than you're falling apart. Uh, that that's all, makes all the difference and turns things around. So I'm Dr. Glenn Swartout at Healing Oasis in Hawaii and I look forward to being in touch. Aloha.